In today's video, we're going to be looking at past editions of Movember. So I said that I supported Movember the last seven years. So let's have a look, shall we? 2014 was the first ever time of me growing out facial hair. I know, at 14? Well, as you can see, it wasn't a great attempt, but still an attempt. Lots of growth here. Then next, 2016. This is a much better attempt. We got some more growth, but of course it can always be better. Like in 2017, slightly better. Here you can see the gap I used to have in my beard, which used to make me insecure at times. But so far, all I was doing was no shave November. I decided to switch things up and not only grow a beard in November but also to take care of it. The thickest parts were around my chin and my mustache so I had this type of beard during November 2018 and if you zoom in you can see where I put a bit of makeup just to hide the bald spot in my beard but when I was shaving it off you could see it. Then 2019 edition no wait before we have a look at November 2019 let's have a look at June to August 2019. This is when I decided to let my beard grow throughout the whole summer and it was the longest beard I ever had obviously before my recent one. So it's important to show this since we're having a look at progress. So this is how it looked when I went on holiday in June and this is how it looked in August. So after two months of growth, as you can see the bald spot filled itself out over time and it was a really cool and liberating beard. But since I was starting uni, I thought the best thing was to shave it off. And now let's look at November 2019. Essentially same thing again, no shave November. And this time it was actually quite thick with no bald spot, but it was slightly uneven. And in this video, as you can see, I tried out many different styles of beard. My favorite out of all of these is the goatee. What do you think? And then 2020, which was the same as 2018. I basically grew out the same style, so nothing special. 2021, I had a mustache the whole month. It was very cool. However, I think we beat the mustache with this one this year. Like, look at this. But here we are today. And if you haven't seen it yet, go watch the previous video where I shaved off my long, long beard. The key thing I'm trying to show here is be patient. I had no idea that I would have even been able to grow out a beard that long when I was 14 or 16 or even 17. So be very patient. I'll see you again in a couple of days where we'll be interviewing someone very special bye bye all right that's a wrap